as far as we know. There has only been one day in the last 2,000 years when literally not one person in the world believed Jesus was alive. That day was Saturday. Upon reflection on these, uh, this weekend, I, you know, we always think of only two days, really. We think of Friday, the day that Jesus was crucified. And we think of Sunday, the day that Jesus was resurrected. But we rarely, if ever, think about Saturday. What did that Saturday mean? What was that a day like? Well, we know that Friday was a day of suffering and heartache and pain and death. And one thing we can be absolutely sure of, Jesus sympathizes with our, our pain. He knows about it. On that day, he suffered physical pain, terrible physical pain, emotional pain to this point that he sweat great drops of blood, Scripture says. Relational pain. He was forsaken and deserted by people that he had invested his life in. And imagine how painful that was. Of course, spiritual pain. He was on the cross. He was in darkness, and, and he cried out to God. And, and uh, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? That's a terrible place to be. And, of course, in Sunday, Jesus comes back to life. He burst out of the grave on that resurrection morning and it, it fixes everything <clears throat> that the disciples had thought about. You know, it was a day of Friday was a day of pain and heartache for them. What about Saturday? Saturday's kind of an oddball day. It's a day of silence. It's a day of confusion, a day of doubt and despair. Living between Friday and Sunday is a difficult place to be. You've, you've suffered this tremendous loss Sunday seems so far away if it's ever coming. It's a, a day of silence, a day of doubt, despair. Now, when Jesus was in his pain on Friday, he did two smart things. He, he reached out to friends. He asked them to join him in the Garden of Gethsemane, asked them to pray with him. He told them what he was going to do, that he was going through great suffering and anguish, and we ought to do the same when we're going through pain. And he reached out to God. He prayed, and certainly we ought to do that. But what do you do on Saturday when you're when you're caught between diagnosis and cure? Between the time that you lose a loved one and that great day when you'll be reunited with them. Between that day when everything went wrong and the day when God's going to make everything right. What do we do on those days? On Saturday. I think what we need to do is what the disciples had to do and what we should do. And that's just trust in the promises of God. Jesus, before all these events of this weekend occurred, told them, I'm going to go away, but you'll see me again. And he told them that, you know, there's going to be a, a time where I'm arrested and and abused and crucified but on the third day I'm going to rise again so what do you do on Saturday on Saturday is what we do is that we trust in the promises of God that we believe in the dark what God has told us in the light and then we just hang on to it and we keep on going no there's no three easy steps of how to get through the Saturdays of life and we're going to face them we're going to have Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays but the day before, or the day between Friday and Saturday, is a day where we just trust and hang on to the promises of God. And so I want to encourage you to do that today. Yes, you've been through a Friday, and you're not sure when Sunday's coming. So today I just encourage you, believe what God has told you. Hang on, keep going, and don't give up. Sunday is coming.